So, I decided to decided to do a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm gonna be making a money pick right today, but I need to boil off most of the water in here before I do so. Uh, my ammonia is down there. Yeah, there. And we're gonna wait for that. Uh, you know, let's splice this together later. Yeah. All right, now that all the picric acid is in the solution, I'm gonna check the pH to make sure I didn't royally fuck up. Ah, uh, good. So for the uh, reaction uh, with the, uh, with the uh, picric acid and ammonia, I'm going to add it in excess so that it fully reacts. So, you know, no picric acid will be wasted. Which, uh, oh, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be adding in ammonia and then checking the pH to make sure the solution becomes uh, basic. I don't know when I'll stop, but I'll stop maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop at 11 or whatever. When it stops getting, it just stops getting more basic. Okay, now that it is down to about 100 milliliters, I'm going to add about uh, 15 milliliters of ammonia. Uh, overshot it too, but, but it's fine. We'll measure the pH once uh, in about two or three minutes. Yeah. Okay, I just did a addition of about 50 milliliters. Uh, yeah, so once all that ammonia is consumed, I will add more and I'll check the pH after um, after I don't smell ammonia anymore. Yeah. All right, it's the next day and some ammonium pick rate has started to precipitate out. Yeah, nice. I have to burn, I mean, oil is down a bit more to get the rest out of solution, but it's a good sign that we have some. All right, so this is the crystalline structure of ammonium pick rate, which is uh, three nitro groups onto a phenol that has been bonded with, uh, ionically bonded with a ammonium ion. Except for this. Oh, so it's for cream. Yeah, he was upright around this. He tried to draw around this, but failed his work. Yeah. So we're gonna boil this down there until it's uh. Well, <coughs> uh, 50 milliliters maybe? Less than that. I'm gonna try to get the maximum amount of uh, money pick rate I can out of this, so you know. Now, how do you get really big shad crystals like that? is by fucking letting it cool down very slowly. As in, like, leave it on your hot plate that's still a couple hundred degrees fuck out. And, uh, let it slowly cool down to room temperature. Also be, uh, you know, slowly evaporating the, the, uh, solute as well. So, it'll also increase the amount of crystals you get. Okay, so this is the final yield right here. Uh, along with that, I'm gonna have to burn this paper because, uh, it's uh, explosive, according to uh, Bomb Squad and stuff. But yeah, it's about 80% yield. I didn't weigh it, but I know I got around there because it's acid-base reaction. I boiled it down to about 10, 15 milliliters before waiting for it to crystallize out. And uh, the solubility with water is decently high, so I couldn't get all of it out, of course. But, you know. Uh, but this is a pretty good yield. I didn't... The first crystallization, I got these massive crystals. But I took those out then, but this is third or fourth crystallization.